Hi everyone, this brief Tech Tools session is going to focus on how to burn a DVD from your laptop. In our last Tech Tools session, we showed you how to use screencastomatic.com to record your screen, um, which is what I'm using right now to record my screen and do this tutorial. Um, but what you could do is you could use this and run through some PowerPoint slides and give a lecture. And then you could actually make um, this video into a DVD that you could leave behind as subplans. Um, you could also use the software, um, the smart board software that's already loaded on your computer that has a recording device in it as well. Um, and we showed you how to do that in our last session. So there's another tutorial on that. But after we did that session, we had a few teachers try this um, to leave behind as sub plans. And so they recorded themselves using a PowerPoint and then they wanted to turn it into a DVD. So we thought we'd follow through with this short session on how to actually use your laptop as um, as a way to burn a DVD. Um, so first thing I want to show you is if you go to our Media Center website and you put your cursor over technology and you click on tutorials, um, that's going to take you to a page where you can actually download directions for how to burn a DVD from your laptop right here. And so these directions will go through two different ways that you can do this from your computer. So the first way that I want to show you, if you decide you want to do this, um, is through Movie Maker. So if you just go to your programs at the bottom and you find Movie Maker and you go ahead and you open up Movie Maker. Now if you're not familiar with Movie Maker, we do have another tutorial if you're interested in learning how to use this to create movies. We have another tutorial on that on our Media Center website that we've covered in a previous Tech Tools. But you could just use this as a way to burn DVDs if you really wanted to. So all you would do is open up Movie Maker, then you would click on Add Videos and Photos, and then you would grab the video that you've already created through maybe Screencast-O-Matic or through um, the SmartBoard software, and the directions go through which files you can use. Um, it takes most files, I believe, now. So this is a WMV file, which a lot of programs automatically save as. And so you can open this and then you can go to save and then you can click on burn a DVD once you have your video ready go ahead and give this DVD a name and save it it'll save the movie and then it will um, go into burning the movie I'm actually going to cancel this because I don't really want to burn this DVD right now so that's your first way of burning a DVD if you want to use that route. Another way to burn your DVD is a new software that we just um, recently got loaded onto our computers. Um, so you could go to your programs and you could actually just type in DVD and you'll see it says Windows DVD Maker. So you can click on that and it will start you off with this screen. Now you can use this to burn a DVD of a video you've already created or you could even just drop a bunch of pictures in here and it'll let you choose your sound um, and then you can make your DVD. So I'm going to walk you through some of these steps. Um, the first thing you're going to do is click sh choose photos and videos. Alright, you'll see this screen and it's going to tell you down here how many um, minutes you have used up on your DVD out of 150. Um, this part right here, the DVD burner, it's automatically defaulted to the right place so you don't even have to worry about that. And then you can go ahead and give your DVD a title if you'd like. So this is my awesome movie title. Okay. Um, then you can go into adding your items. So I'm going to go ahead and add this video in. Give it a second to load. Okay, and then I'm going to add in some pictures as well because I want kind of a combination in my video. So this is another option that's available to you. So I would say if you're just recording yourself, you would just be dropping in a video. But just so you know that this is also an option, I'm just going to drop in some cute pictures of some puppy dogs because who doesn't like puppy dogs? So I'm going to drop in some of these, some cute animals in here. So that, that way I can create a slideshow movie right here, okay? So once I've added in, I can go to options right here, and I can um, 
make sure that all of this looks okay. Now it's already set. You don't even have to worry about these two unless you have a wide screen that you have to change for this aspect ratio, which shouldn't be the case. Um, but it's already set to start with a DVD menu. Much like when you run a, a movie, it starts with a menu, it'll say play, scene selection. So you can decide, do I want it to start with a menu or do I want to play the video right when you put it in and then the menu show up at the end? Or do I want to play the video in a continuous loop? Um, so you can decide how you want to do that. I'm going to go ahead and start my um, start with the DVD menu. Um, and then the rest of the stuff I don't need to worry about. And then I'm going to click next and it's going to take me to this fun screen where I get to choose what my menu looks like. So I have all of these choices to choose from. Kind of changes up the color a little bit. This one looks kind of crazy. I think I like this one. Um, so you see I have my movie title and then it says play right here and then scenes right here. So with a menu you'll, you'll notice that um, once you play it or once you put it in your DVD, it's going to play your video in the background with your menu right here. So kind of play little snippets of your video. Kind of like when you put in a, a movie that you've rented, it plays like little snippets of videos while the menu is just sitting there. Okay, so once you choose which menu style you like, I think I'm just going to stick with this one, you could go a little crazy and customize your menu. You could change the font if you want to change the font. You can change um, which video do you want playing while the menu is just sitting there in the foreground and the background just by browsing. Maybe you want a different video playing. Um, you can change, you can upload your own audio if you wanted to do that. Or you can just stick with the default. And you can change the button styles if you wanted to get fancy. But I'm not going to worry about that. That's just sort of aesthetic um, things that if you're, if you're real picky you could work on that. So you can do change style. And then you can um, play around with the menu text like we just um, showed you here, kind of similar, you select the font that you want, um, the color that you want your font to be, go with Peachtree Ridge Blue. You can um, change, okay, let's say you don't want the, the button to say play, you want it to say, you know, start, and you don't want it to say scenes, maybe you want it to say scene selection, or notes, or um, etc. So you could change what you want the menu to say and then you click change. And then for your pictures, if you put in pictures, you would click on slideshow. And this is where you can decide how many seconds do I want each picture to play. So maybe I only want this to play for five seconds. And I want this transition. So kind of similar to PowerPoint, it's going to use this flip transition in between the pictures. And then I always like to click, make sure this pan and zoom effect is clicked, just because I like the way it looks. It um, zooms in on the picture and then kind of makes it, runs across. It almost makes it look like the picture's moving. You can add music to your picture if you'd like. And then you can click change slideshow. Um, you can preview it to make sure that you're happy with it. And then once you've done all these little fancy things, you can click burn. And it will... See, I don't have a disc in there. You put your disc in, and then it will begin to burn your DVD. Once the DVD is finished burning, um, you, it'll come out, and then you can write on it, give it a label, and we've got um, some DVD holders that we can give you as well in the Media Center. So if you decide to use this, um, to use the Screencast-O-Matic to record your lesson plans or um, to use the smart software to record your, your PowerPoint presentations and give a lecture, um, feel free to stop by the Media Center and check out some headphones that we have with a microphone attached. Your laptop does have a microphone built in, but in case you want your sound to sound more consistent um, so that if you move your head it doesn't pick up on different things, um, you can come check these out and give it a try and we'd love to help you. So. Um, You've got the directions on the shared drive and on the Media Center website, um, and you've got this video you can reference, or just stop by and see Joni or Marsha, and we can help you make this work. All right, thanks.